Indian dog today. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Pham and today I'm going to show you how I style my hair two new ways because I just chopped it recently. So I'm going to show you what I do on days where I leave it straight and days where I curl it. Let's get into it. Okie dokie, so if I'm not in the mood to curl my hair and I just want some straight hair but I want volume in it, then this is what I do. It's super simple. I just use two products. I use the Bedhead Superstar Queen for a day thickening spray. When I got my hair cut, this is what she used on my hair and how she did it was she kind of just like sectioned a little part at the top and then sprayed some of it and put some spray down there so that you get some of the product and like each layer of hair so that it can have volume. I take the Batiste dry shampoo. This is in the divine dark color because clearly my hair is very dark and I just like lift up my hair and spritz this in it and I do it on the sides. Clearly this is very like haphazard and sometimes I'll just like put it in the ends just to fluff up my hair. And this just gives my hair a lot more texture because my hair is like very fine. But yeah, that's just like my hair on a straight, normal, voluminous type of day. If I want to have a wavy hair type of day, then I do all the same steps. I use those two products in my hair and I will use the mousse to make my hair more so. Sticky. I'm actually gonna show you this, even though my hair is like kind of dry right now, it'll still do the same thing. And this mousse smells good, but I don't know if it's actually like good but it smells good. Just to get my hair nice and sticky so that these curls hold. And then I'm going to be using the Duoval Curling Iron. I have no clue how many inches this barrel is. The one thing I'm missing in my hair care routine is a heat protectant spray, so I don't have one of those right now. But to curl my hair, I just kind of take this top section and I pin it up. And now I'm just going to curl it. I usually do these front sections curled backwards like this. And the way to make it look like a wavy curl is to do alternating curls. So so like some curled backwards and some curl curled forwards. So to do a forwards core curl. <laughs> so to do a forward, <laughs> I can't say that. To do a curl going forward, you're gonna put your barrel in front of your hair and then twist it towards your face. You're gonna take the next section and curl it backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and you can just watch me do this. It's pretty self-explanatory from here. Okay, so once I'm done curling a small section of my hair, I make sure to hairspray it immediately because my hair falls out of curls very quickly and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to use the Aussie Mega Hairspray. This is for a flexible hold because I don't want my hair to be crunchy hairspray because I want these to be like bouncy waves, you know? So don't want anything crunchy. And then I just kind of tossle it around, make sure I like the curls and then I'll move on to the next section. Okay, the little bottom sections are done, so let's take out the top section and curl this. I like to split it down the middle and then curl it because I don't part my hair on a certain side. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I'm done with it. It looks a little bit crazy at first because I have to do like really super tight curls so that it like falls a little bit. So this is it fresh and it looks especially crazy because it's still like superly tightly curled and everything, but it will fall a little bit and then it'll just be natural waves throughout the day. So yeah, and I just kind of flip it around and it's like really voluminous and big and I like it. I hope you guys like this video. A lot of you guys voted for how I curl my new hair and like just how I style it and everything because it was a pretty drastic change and I know some of you guys have short hair so I thought I would just help you guys out because short hair takes a bit of styling. Also make sure to check me out on Instagram because I have been really trying my best on there. I bought like $100 preset filters so uh, I'm also going to Hawaii soon so you're probably going to want to follow me there. I'm on my vlog channel and I also have a Snapchat and a Twitter just so you guys can like vote on videos and just be notified because if you subscribe and turn on the bell, then you will be notified every time I post videos, but sometimes that doesn't even work, so, you know, just gotta be safe. And until next time, I love you guys a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, would you be so kind as to fall in love with me? You see, I'm trying. I know you know that I like you, but that's not enough.